Okay, for this video I'm going to show you how to do multiple lines of writing on your SE400 sewing machine. Um, how to set up your uh, different lines so that you can get multiple lines in one hoop. Um, this was all done on a 5x7 hoop, but um, it's actually set up to be a 4x4 hoop because that's all the SC400 is capable of doing is a 4x4. So if I had a 4x4 frame here, you could see where I would um, lose this and this, but I could still fit those five lines of um, words on the 4x4 frame. Um, when you're starting to do this project, you're going to want to use sample uh, throwaway uh, uh, fabric and stabilizer because you don't want to, because uh, all you're doing right now is setting up these words so you can save them in your machine and um, that's what I'm going to show you on how to do that. Um, this one I did on knit uh, fabric. I used tear away stabilizer but if you're actually going to do something like this on a t-shirt you're going to want to use um, wash away stabilizers on the front and the back before you stitch it. I didn't have this lined up properly and you can, you know, I'm going to show you how to do this so you can line it up properly so you can get it you know formatted the way you want so you can do it on multiple multiple items whether they're t-shirts, uh, baby bibs or whatever it is you're um, making. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and um, get started on that now. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have nothing in memory. So if you do have a pattern in memory, get rid of it. So um, go to your um, embroidery and uh, pick if you have, here's a, let me put something in memory. Okay, I'm going to save this. Okay, so now when I go in to go back and do something, it's going to tell me that I have something in memory. So um, it's saving. Okay, so now when I go back and it says, do you want to delete the pattern? Say, okay, because it's still going to be in memory. So when I go down to check, it tells me I have 20, I've used up 22 of my 512 kilobytes of memory. So I don't want that. I want to make sure I have a completely clean memory. So click on it, hit your delete, say, okay. So now you've got your full 512 kilobytes of memory because when you're doing something and you're going to save it, you're going to need as much of the memory empty as possible because you don't want to run out, especially if you're doing multiple lines. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started and do our first line. So let's go to pick an alphabet. I'm going to pick um, the one I started with here. I'm going to go there. You've got your entire alphabet. Your first row is your alphabet. Second, you use the cursor over the rest of your alphabet, then you've got your numbers, then you've got um, your figures, um, you know, your plus sign, your question mark, your slash. Um, this underscore right here is actually a um, space. So um, if you need to space between words, you can using that one right there. Then you've got your apostrophe. If you're going to say Wilson's family reunion, you can use that apostrophe S. And you got a comma here for your um, between dates of uh, like July 23rd, 2017, you can actually put a space on it. Okay, so let's get started. So let's go ahead and pick our pattern. So first thing we're going to go to is we're going to choose write our word out. So I'm going to use the medium because I can get the medium all in one 5x7 hoop. So let's go to W, Wilson, W, and then we're going to go down to small alphabet. So go to A small a and then go back to I, L, S, O, N, go apostrophe, go back to your S, okay Wilson's, okay so we've got it all written up, we're using the medium font and then let's go to adjust, okay, let's go to layout, and now we've got Wilson's in there. You can't see the Wilson's are close together. But we're going to put that at the very top. So let's go to the top of the screen. See how you've got 00, zero here and 00, zero here? That means it's absolutely centered in your frame because it knows you're using the 5x7 frame because it tells me I'm using that. So let's go up to the top of our frame. Actually, I think that's 4x4, four four, but 
because that's what the machine will accept. That's a four by four. So that, so those uh, figure those figures right there tell you how many stitches to the middle of your frame. So I'm now at the very top of my frame. I'm in the middle this way and this way I'm 1.57 away from the center of my frame. So let's go ahead and uh, type in our first word. So let's um, put my thing down. I'm just using uh, scrap fabric plain because all I'm doing right now is setting up my design. That's all I'm doing. I'm not putting it on anything except practice. So let's go ahead and go down, pull our thread up. Okay, so let's get started. I lost my little clippers. Here they are. Okay, so this is our first word, Wilson's. Okay, I'm going to pause the tape right now and then I'm going to pick it back up when we go to the next part of the uh, video. Okay, I just went back and I finished sewing up the Wilson's part. I'm going to clarify this. Um, let me see where it says finish sewing. Okay, Wilson's finished sewing, so say okay. If you're happy with it and you are happy with it, you go ahead and you press save. See this little, looks like a book, it's actually a pocket that has the arrow going down. We're going to hit that and we're going to save that. So now we have Wilson saved in our sewing machine. And when I told you about the frame here, this is actually a 4x4 frame. So even if you have the basic 4x4 frame that came with your sewing machine, you can still write Wilson's Family Reunion with a date uh, using the 4x4 frame. Because see how much space I have here on the top of Wilson's? That's because it's think, it's th the machine thinks I'm using the 4x4 frame. Okay, so I've got it saved. How do I know it's saved? I'm going to go out here and I'm going to see... Uh, all the way, all the way out to the back, all the way to the front. It's going to ask me, do I want to delete the pattern? I'm going to say, okay, I do want to delete it because I've already saved Wilson's fam Wilson's on the first line because it's still in there. So let's go back, go back to our alphabet. Okay, so we've got Wilson's. So the next one we're going to do is we're going to go back to our medium. That's where we were. Then we're going to hit family. Go to your small letters. A. M, oops, I, L, went too far, Y. Okay, adjust, okay, go to layout. So this time we're going to go a little bit below the last one. So how do we know where we're going to set it? We're going to use this right here. See this broken line right here? It tells you where the family is going to print on your uh, in your pattern, or so in your pattern. So let's hit it. And I don't like it. I want to go a little bit higher, so I'm going to move it up a little bit more. Okay, so see how I got it too close on from between Morello and family? I want more than that. So that's why I'm saying you're going to do a practice and decide if it's right because if it's not right you can always adjust it. If you make a mistake while it's sewing you can um, always uh, change your pattern before you save it so when you do it for the good the, for the actual piece that you're working on you'll be able to um, uh, save it in the correct place. So let's try it again. Okay, I think that's, I still think I need to go higher, so I'm going to go a couple more higher. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, I think I like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and stitch it.
may have spaced that farther apart than I wanted to, but I'm going to go ahead and let it print up and then I'll be back. Okay, family finished printing. I'm going to say okay. And I've decided that I want less space between Wilson and family, so before I save family on my machine, I'm going to move this up one, two. I'm going to go up two spaces, and I think that'll be okay. So now I'm going to hit my save. Okay, so now I've got two files in my machine. I've got Wilson's and I got family. Okay, so now my next step is going to be to delete family. I already saved it, so it's already in my machine. I don't have to worry about it. So now my next word is going to be reunion. So I'm going to go back to uh, my big capital R, A, reunion, R, E, U, N, I, O, N. Okay. Wilson's Family Reunion. So let's go back to Adjust, Layout, okay. So um, we're back to the same situation. We're uh, in the center, even Steven. Now we're going to decide how much space we want between um, family, reunion, family and Reunion, right? So let's go ahead and do it again. Let's go and move our carriage to see how much space we have. We need to go down. It, I, I'm going to hit the Y if I keep that, so let's go down less minus 6 from the center, and let's try it again. Still too close. So wait till it stops, go down again, let's try it again. Still too close. Okay, I like that. So you see what we're doing? We're basically setting up our whole series of letters until we get them exactly where we want them and then we're saving them. So now I'm going to go ahead and um, do the reunion part. So let's do that one. Okay, okay I'm going to let this uh, print up and then I'll uh, uh, stitch up and then I'll come back. I really like the spacing on that, so I'm going to save this just the same way it is. So I'm just going to hit my save button. Okay, so now I've got three saves in there. I've got the Wilsons, I've got Family, and now I've got Reunion saved. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go back. This time I'm going to um, delete the Reunion, and I'm going to put in a date. So I'm going to go to capital J for July, small space U L Y okay how am I going to get a space so you're going to go over until you go here until you put in your space okay July let's go back to our numbers 23 okay are we want a comma or not it's up to you if you want a comma go ahead and put a comma there the, the comma is kind of far away so 
it's it's up to you whether you want that comma or not. I'll put the comma in this one so you can see the difference between this one, July 23rd, and the comma on this one. Okay, so now we've got that. Let me give myself an extra little tail on my um, machine here. Okay, all right, so let's go back to adjust. So now we've got July 23rd. Let's go to layout. So now let's go ahead and move this down. Um, whoops, it says raise your needle. Okay, let's move down. Okay, let's see if we like that spacing or not. Let's go around. Still too high. Still too high. Um, let's, yeah, I'm gonna, I wonder if I'm gonna have enough room for the 2017 without moving my fabric. I might have to, let's try that. Okay, I'm still going to go down a couple. Okay, so let's go ahead and print this up. Let me try one more time before I save it. Yeah, it's just okay. All right, so let's go ahead and stitch it up. Okay. Okay, we like that. Say okay, let's save it. Okay, now we have one more thing to do and that's 2017. So let's go ahead and uh, go back. Go to delete, July 23rd. This time we're just going to type in, um, where's the letters? 2017, okay, adjust it. Go to layout. Oh, that's too, that's not the right size. That must be large. Let's do it again. Yep, I have it on large. So let's go to medium. Let's go to adjust, layout. Let's go all the way to the bottom of the screen as far as we can go. We want to keep it in the center. Okay, let's uh, roll it out and see how it turns out. Okay, because that's at the very bottom of the screen, I didn't give myself enough space on the last one. So, um, I went too far apart between some of these, so if you wanted to come out as, as one piece like I did, you're probably going to have to um, put less space between these. So we can go back and we can adjust it. So, but because I have it in there now, let's, let's see what it's going to do again. I mean, it might be okay. You might be happy with it, but we'll see what happens. I think that the July 23 is going to hit it, but let's just try it. We'll see what happens. It's as far down as it'll go, so let's pull my thing up. Okay, so let's just do it. Oh, I nothing to cut. Okay, let's see how it turns out. If not, we can always move up, or we can always add space between the other ones, so we can get more space for our 2017. Let's see what it looks like. July, the 2017 sitting the bottom of the July. We don't want that. So we're going to have to fix it. I'm going to show you how.
I had a couple too many spaces between the Wilson and the family. So I'm going to uh, move that up a little bit and we'll make adjustments. Because all I need is a couple more spaces on that July. Okay, and let's save it. Okay, all right, so we've got all our sewing done. Now we can make adjustments as we need to. So let's go ahead and see what we don't like about this. Okay, so we've got Wilson's family reunion. We have too many spaces between the Wilson and the family because I want to add, I need some more space on the bottom for the 17. So let's go back to our um, main screen. Okay, delete pattern, yes, okay, we've already saved it. So let's go back to our main screen and go to our patterns. So here's our first pattern, Wilson, second pattern, family, third pattern, reunion, uh, July 2nd, and last pattern is 2017. Okay, so let's go back to Wilson. We can't go any higher because we're on a 4x4 four four frame. So let's go to family. Okay, so we have family. Let's go ahead and upload it. Oh, there's pressure put close. Okay, upload it. Okay, so there's family. Let's go to adjust. Layout. Okay, so we're going to go up maybe three. One, two, three. And we're going to save it again. So we went up three spaces there. So save it. Now what's going to happen because we saved it, we've saved it twice, so let's go back and let's go back to our main menu, say OK, we've saved it twice, so go here. So we have Wilson, family, and see how we got family back at the end? We've got five patterns now, so we've got family twice. Which one do we want to get rid of? We want to get rid of that first family, so let's go ahead and go to family. Wilson family, we changed this, so let's delete this one that we don't want. Delete it, okay. So now we're back to just one Wilson. So since we've moved the family up to, we're going to want to move up reunion. Okay, so let's go ahead and, whoops, upload that. Let's adjust it, go to layout. We're going to move that back up again. One, two, three, probably four. Okay, so then save that. So what do we want to do now? We want to get rid of that first reunion. So go to your main menu. Okay, go main menu. Go to your patterns. Wilson, reunion. That's the first reunion. We have a second reunion way back here, family reunion. So we want to get rid of the first reunion. So there's the first one. Get rid of it. Delete it. Okay. All right, so now we have to do the same thing with July. So July, well, if we move July up, July 23rd, upload that, pick it, upload it, let's adjust it, go to layout, we're going to move it up uh, three or four, one, two, three, or four, okay, so now we're going to have perfect spacing between here, so let's save it. You know, you might even want to go one more because we have such a little space between here and here. 
But anyway, so now that you've got your pattern, oops, oh, let me just finish what we were doing. Save that. Okay, save it. Okay, so now we go back to the main menu. It's going to ask me, do I want to delete it? I do. So let's see how many patterns we have. Wilson, July 2nd. We can, we're going to delete this because we've fixed it. Okay, so we got Wilson, 2017 Family Reunion, July 23rd. Those are all our patterns that are saved in there. So that's how you do um, multiple lines. Now all these little things in between them, you just clip them off. So you can put these on t-shirts, you can put them on whatever. But, but I suggest, like I said, do this on scrap fabric like this because you're going to need to do all your alignment. And um, you know, it's easier to cut these off when it's off the hoop. But that's how you do multiple lines. And this will be the 4x4 four four frame, so this is a 5x7, so you're gonna, it'll be on that size, but it'll still fit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You'll still fit 5. Now, if I was going to do a pattern that had more letters than I have available, you can, um, when you're doing, say, say it was, this was Williamson, and I couldn't fit Williamson on the machine. When you're doing that, make sure you write down what your, um, let me show you. Let's go to um, here. I'll pick a, um, I'll take a big font, K-E-E-N, Ken, okay, so go to adjust, layout, okay, see how I have Ken and I want to put a T at the end, and I'm moving things around, so wherever that is, I'm going to write down exactly where the center is on my, on that, so that when I go and add an additional letter to that, I'll have it at the same distance from the center as I did the previous one, as far as the spacing, you're going to have to uh, use your um, this one here and move it around to find out where that's going to line up at. But as long as you have it on a straight line across, by figuring out where you are distance from the center, you're going to be able to get a straight line across, um, even though it, it's more num letters than will fit on here. You can add a couple more letters down here as long as you know where that center is and you put that as the distance from center. Um, so that'll get you on the right line, but as far as getting it right next to the right letter, um, you've got to use this to figure it out. That's how I do it anyway. So anyway, there you go. Wilson Family Reunion, July 23rd, 2017. You can put that on t-shirts, baby bibs, napkins, whatever, tablecloths, however you want to, whatever you want to use it for. But once you have it set in your machine, um, then you have it set, but uh, so it's always in there now because you've saved it. So Wilson is 17 of the 527. Well, actually, I use 17. The writing used 17 pieces of memory. You can only fit 12 patterns in here, so you have to remember that too. So uh, something to keep in mind. Okay, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.